Hello everyone, this is Vibe coming at you again with another video. Um, today we are going to be discussing some things, um, plans for the future and stuff. And yes, we will be opening up some cards, but today we will mostly just be talking about what's going to be happening. So obviously I have not uploaded since December, Christmas, but most of the videos were uploaded a few days after. Um, all the videos were actually recorded on Christmas, I just had to space the uploads out by a few days. Basically, what's going to be happening is I will be not be making any videos for the next few months. Again, I'm going on a maybe three to five month hiatus. Um, just so you guys know, I, I do plan on making videos again later this year, but obviously not very soon because um, I am moving houses. Because I'm moving houses, that means I need to pack all this stuff up, including the playmat, this camera, the pretty, pretty much everything. Like my room is pretty much pretty, it's quite empty at this point, which is why I'm filming in. And yeah, so basically when this video is fil is done filming it, all of this YouTube packing stuff is just going to get packed away. <coughs> oh, pardon me. But, um, <coughs> pardon me again. Okay, I'm serious, I'm not doing this on purpose, this is just really weird. But, um, so today we are going to be doing some openings of some packs and stuff. So I'm going to grab Mr. Knife from over here. Yeah, we still have him. Yay. But, um, but what, what we're going to be doing today is something really cool. I recently bought this. This is a pack weigher off Amazon. If you guys want the link, I'll give it to you in the comments, but um, in if no one really wants it, I'm not going to give it to anyone. Now then, it says zero, 00 and it's on grams right now, so we're going to weigh this Sword and Shield pack. Oh wow, look, that's really cool. Look, you can see like where the cut was. It's not supposed to be cut there, but that's really cool. Let's see how much it weighs. I'm going to move it so it's in shot. So it's at 2180, about 2180. So now, I don't think that's a very good pack. I don't think that's a pack with a hit. I think that's a dud pack, but we're going to open it anyway, so we're going to turn that off. Now, we will be weighing the packs inside of this too. I actually do believe you get a break point or breakthrough pack in this box, which is amazing. That's what I've seen online, though. So let's get into this pack. I think because it's sort of sealed, it's going to be um, four to the back. So I'm not going to look at the code. Right, uh, there is the code for you guys, though, if you want it. Four cards. One, two, three, four. And let's get into it. Energy. Galarian Stumpisk. Heat more. Pokey Kid. That's actually a really, that's a really cute card. It looks like my little brother, which was in the Pack Battle of the Trainers Toolkit video. Mincino. Italian. Galarian Panita, the Unicorn one, Salandit, Boltoy, Qfant, Hitmonly Reverse Hollow, and a Noctowl non holo Rare. So, as I as predicted, Dodd Pack. Right then, let's get all this over here. And let's get into this, into this right here. So, we're going to open it up right here. I actually believe I actually have the Galarian um, Slow Row card. I I must have pulled it outside of a video because I do have the card somewhere. But let's just get into this tin. Uh, my bin isn't where it used to be, so I can't just chuck it aside. So I'm just going to have to put my rubbish up like over here. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, then. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah, I see it right here. Whoa. Look at that, it's torn. I mean, that's really, that's really bad. But anyways, as predicted, breakpoint pack, that's really nice. But let's see what else we got. Vivid, Vivid, and a sword, another sword and two ways. Right then, and of course we get this promo right here and the code card, which I will give out to you guys right there. There you go. Code right there. And then we're gonna get the rest of this tin stuff and we're gonna chuck it aside. side and get all this rubbish and put it over here and of course we get our um non promo i think this is from either chilling rain or battle styles it's the galarian slow bro 
and yeah, let's get into these packs. So I think at first we're going to weigh the break point. So let's grab our pack weigher, turn it on, get it into shot, uh, and it's at grams. Let's weigh these packs. So it should be about over 21 if it's a hit pack. So let's see. 19.94, so I'm just going to take it off, I'm going to do it this way, see if it gives us a different weight, 19.59, going to try and get that in shot for the camera, whoa, okay, I moved it, I moved it, okay, so it looks like different ones on the, where, depending on where it is, so I'm just going to keep it here, so let's open up this pack first, just gonna keep this on over here. Just gonna put that there for now. And then let's get into this pack. It's really weird how it has a cut right there. We'll just tear it. Oh, well, it looks like the, it was wrong. That's a white code. That means there's something good. Who knows? Maybe it could just be a, reg a regular card. Hey, and remember, this is a break set. So this could have a break as well. I don't remember the pack trick for X and Y. So I'm not gonna do anything. There you go. XY breakpoint code card for you guys going out. And then I don't remember the card trick, but let's just get into it. Wow, I, I missed this old art because I actually joined uh, uh, the Pokemon card community around Fates Collide. I actually still have my first two Pokemon cards in card savers with my golden cards that I pulled on the. Uh, well, I'm blabbing on too much now. Let's get on with it. Electabuzz. Froakie, my first ever Pokemon card in a, in a hollow form. Rattata. Cricketot. Shelda. Gibble, so it's not a break card. And it's a Garbodor. Non-hollow. Oh, uh, actually, it is a hollow rare. Then you get a Cricketune, Cloyster, and a Swanner. Right. Actually, a really nice card. That looks, looks like a very nice card. Right then, let's put these ones over here, put the code card there. Now that's actually a really nice hit. Let's get this on again. Units, grams, oh no, no, I've got to do this all over again. Get to grams. There we go, grams. I'm going to get it right there. So once you base it, oh wow, with my hands, this already feels like a heavy pack. Let's put this down on the scale. 2270, that's a hit pack. That's going to be a hit pack, I'm going to put it face down too. 22, 16, yeah, this is definitely going to be a hit pack. This one too, this feels kind of heavy, but let's see. 22.43. 22.43, this has a hit. This one feels lighter, but let's see. 22.48 and 22.49. So these all might be hit cut packs. So let's open up the Celebi artwork of the Village Voltage. Yeah, as as we thought, it is a white code. Uh, code card going out to you guys right there. Put the card. Oh right, I've just had a thought. What if I just put all my cards in the tin? All right, let's see. Let's grab these ones here and these ones here. Just get all these in the tin. Yeah, and then yeah, okay. That's good. There we go. Put that there. Put our hits right here in the corner of greatness cards. So it should be four, one, two, three, four. And let's see if we get a hit, if a really good hit at least. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Hey, you guys remember him? If you guys watched uh, any sort of Pokemon YouTuber back in like 2016-ish, this was the guy, Unlisted Leaf. He does a lot more kid-friendly content, but he used to do a lot of funny old content. If anyone actually watched him, comment down Black Triangle First Edition, because that's one of his like most famous openings. Trumbeak. Nessa. Croc. Wait, Crocorock, Crocorock, Aracuda, C Dot, Fanfy, Shuppet, Poochiana, 
Wubat and a Dialga Hollow Rare. It's actually a really nice card. Just put him down there. Get the card. And here goes into the other pack. I'm going to actually weigh this one again because it's feeling lighter to the touch now. So I'm going to turn it on. Unit grams. Right, let's do this again. Touch it. 22.44 and 22.47. Yeah, this should be a hit pack, but I'm not too sure. Right, let's do this. Okay, got an opening, but it's going to be one of them hard to open packs. I'm just going to have to open it along the crimps. It's actually really cool when it does that with the car, with the back. I'm going to curl it down with that. No, I'm just going to peel that down like so. Oh, hit pack as well. Let's see what we get. <sighs> right, let's do this. Let's get into another pack. Code card there. And one, two, three, four to the front. And next up, we have that sword and shield pack. But to explain, basically, I'm going to be moving very, very soon. Right. Uh, electric energy. All right, rubbish. Put that over there, the rubbish. Shuckle. Shuckle, luckle, luckle. Delamize. Another Trombeak. Shootle. Ryolu. EB. C dot Electric. Sorry about any um background noises. My little brother is just like shouting and whatnot downstairs and you know. Next card is a Aegis slash V. Very nice card. Very good, very nice. Right. Let's get these cards into another pile like that. And finally, Sword Shield Base Set. That's a this is a really, really heavy pack. I'm just gonna score the edge here. See if it opens. No. I've seen Pokey Rev do this where he opens up the packs like this and sees if they're good cards or not. But you know. See. Let's just see. Oh no, it's a green code. Right, well, I guess we must just breeze through this pack, huh? Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Aurora Energy, and a Cloyston on that rare. Energy, double, quailfish, and Poke Kid, and a code card. Right then, so that was that pack. All in all, we got four hits, and I consider that to be a quite good opening. There might be another video tomorrow, there might not, who knows. But thank you guys for, the, for um, watching. And I will see you guys next time. Who knows, maybe maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's in three months. Who knows? I sure don't. Bye, guys. And don't forget, gotta catch them all.